What's going on uh, YouTube? Um, Big Boonski here coming at you with a little bit of an update on the Bass Jimmy 71 tribute build. Uh, I was working on it a little bit this morning. I was down for the count this whole weekend so um, didn't get much building in this weekend but uh, I was working on a little bit today and a couple mornings and stuff like that here and there but um, so I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update. Uh, let's see, on the, I was working on the rear suspension this morning, and, um, I was getting, you know, kind of seeing where everything's going to go, and trying to get the rear end mocked up and everything, um, I did, uh, the other day build my roll cage, it's kind of hard to see. But uh, the roll cage, I think I'm gonna paint black. It'll it, you know, the once I get all the aluminum done on the interior, and then the roll cage will be black, and then uh, aluminum on some of the door panels and stuff like that. And I think it'll look pretty good. Get it all padded up and everything. So I still got to do the trunk section, and then I got to do the uh, crash bars that go in from the uh, front of the frame here. But I was getting starting to get the rear end mocked up, and I was looking at these shocks, these rear shocks right here. And I wasn't really impressed with these. These did not say Fast Jimmy Tribute Build to me. So I um, decided those were going to have to go, and I decided to try and make my own racing shocks, and this is what I came up with. Uh, these are just the rear set. Uh, I still got to make the front set once I start doing the front suspension. But uh, this is basically just um, a piece of styrene tube with a flat cap on the top and a little uh, styrene nubbin I found from my parts box. I don't even know what it was originally to. But uh, they looked like they'd make good uh, bottoms to the shocks to me. So. I uh, drilled a hole, put a piece of brass rod in there that goes inside the styrene tube, and then uh, added the spring, and bam, set of rear shocks, rear racing shocks. So, I thought they looked pretty cool, way better than the, the stock shocks that uh, um, came in the kit, and uh, this to me says, more says... Fast Jimmy 71 tribute build scratch built shocks so uh, I'm not I'm not an ace at scratch building by any means so uh, any little bit I do is uh, I, <laughs> I I give myself a little pat on the back for because uh, I'm not I, I build things that I know I can build but there's some things that are out of my comfort zone and a lot of this build is out of my comfort zone so uh, scratch boat shocks, that's the first one for me, so I'm probably be building more. Um, I've also got the, I was able to get, you guys saw in my last video that I cut out everything, but I hadn't hinged anything yet, so, um, I actually got the, the body hinged up, and, um, everything works the way, now, this is my second attempt at hinging. The first attempt I did, I don't even know when it was, but it's in a box somewhere. It didn't come out. I couldn't get it. So, my second attempt, and I finally got it to work. Um, my skills, I think, need a little fine-tuning. Uh, I need a little work on uh, how big to make the um, the loops in the, in the hinges. Uh, I think these are probably... A little bigger than they probably would they probably should be and a little bigger than I know Jimmy makes them and Dr. Cranky and um, even I saw Rick Howard's uh, hinges and uh, they were pretty low profile so I haven't gotten that down yet as far as like how big to make the hoops but hey they're on they work everything lines up and everything opens the way it should um, can't really 
maybe you can see uh, a little a tad big but I mean once maybe once they're hidden by the interior and the door frames and the and the interior panels they might not look as big but right now to me I guess they just look big so um, yeah both uh, both doors were suicide on this and then uh, the hood is hood is suicide also so that came out pretty good and another thing I wanted to show you guys is I got a tip from a fellow builder here on uh, YouTube and um, when I saw him at the model show and um, he, gave, he he showed me something that I wouldn't I didn't even think about it but it, it's such a great idea and I had to share it because I'm trying it for the first time and I think I can think off the top of my head many build, many builds that I'm gonna probably use it for but is a mesh grill we all have everybody black washes some of the grills you know you could buy the photo etch or whatever um, but most of the grills you get with the kits are just plain chrome and it's not really uh, what we like as far as builders go so uh, I came up or he came up with and showed me this is a way of making a mesh grill that's looks pretty cool I mean if you ask me I, I love the way it looks you can see through it it's fairly rigid it's fairly rigid but it's not so rigid that you can't bend it and mold it to the shape of the front end and it's got good holes to where you can see through it. Now, I that grill you're looking at right there came from this. Just a generic car speaker cover. Mesh speaker cover. As you can see, I cut the first grill out right there sanded the paint off it you can leave it black the black looks good too I, I test fitted it with the black before and the black looks good too or you can sand the paint off and go with the with the metal metal underneath so a couple bucks you can find them just about anywhere and uh, just a generic uh, mesh speaker cover for the front grill so um that's about all I got guys um, just like I said a little update and uh, before I go to work and just show you that uh, my progress is coming along here on the uh, Fast Jimmy 71 tribute bill so uh, I'm gonna get ready for work and get on out of here and I will uh, keep watching you guys videos and I'll catch you later peace out big boonski